We begin with a one and only exclusive involving the son of a former Surfside City Commissioner. He was arrested earlier this month and today we've learned charges will be dropped and that's not all. Local 10's Rosh Lowe is live in Surfside with the late breaking details. Rosh. There is a lot going on in Surfside this afternoon. The first thing I want to mention is that we are told from law enforcement sources that the Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office contacted the Surfside Police Department to tell them that there will be no charges filed against this 18 year old. You may remember that case accused of pushing the vice mayor. And now we're learning the police chief's last day is tomorrow. It was March 1st when Joshua Epstein was arrested by Surfside Police. He's the teenage son of Eliana Saltower, a vocal critic of then Surfside Mayor Shlomo Danzinger. Surfside police charged Epstein with battery on an elected official after he was accused of pushing then Vice Mayor Jeff Rose. Keep pushing me, John. Let's do Jeff. Keep pushing me. The police chief, Antonio Marciante, said this was an arrest where there was a thorough investigation. His mom called it third world thuggery. What do you say to that? Um, you know, we live in America, everybody has uh, free speech and they have the right to their own opinion. And that this is a dictatorship? Again, free speech and right to their own opinion. But there was never any video of the alleged push. Josh's mom held demonstrations outside Surfside Town Hall, justice for Joshua. Josh is set for a hearing on April 1st, but since the arrest, so much has changed. The mayor and vice mayor were voted out of office. The police chief's last day, according to sources, is Friday. And now Local 10 has learned that the charges against Joshua will be dropped. Sources say there was conflicting testimony from witnesses. And the state informed the Surfside Police Department about their decision on Thursday. We reached out to Eliana Saltzauer who had no idea about the state's decision. But understandably, she was emotional, saying she hopes justice will be served. Her son, who is currently out of state, will be at the hearing Monday when he will officially hear the news. So very interesting developments in this case. The state attorney's office will not officially comment on the case, but our law enforcement sources saying Monday should be very interesting when Josh and his mom are in court and this will become official and the state will detail why charges have been dropped. We'll stay on top of this one for you. For now, I'm live in Surfside, Rosh Lowe, Local 10 News. Okay, Rosh, thank